So, in this video I got some footage of the Super Mario Odyssey demo that's available out at Best Buy, GameStop, Targets, some Walmarts, etc. Kind of depends on what area you're in and which store has it. But what this person decided to do playing the demo is figure out what happens if you die in this game without any coins. So for those who don't know, there are no lives in Super Mario Odyssey. When you die in Super Mario Odyssey, you just get 10 coins reduced from your coin total, and you get to return to usually either right before you died or like the last little save point in the world you're in. And yeah, so the person buys a moon, buys some clothes, whatever, gets rid of all of his coins, and goes and rolls off a cliff. And he does this a few times, and the game doesn't give you a game over screen. Even though you don't have the coins to respawn, it just respawns you back at the cappy shop. And this is just interesting because this might be, based on my my admittedly faded memory and my own experiences playing Mario games, this potentially might be the very first Mario game that literally does not have a game over screen, even in the most extreme of cases. The chances of any of us actually running out of coins and dying is probably going to be pretty rare anyways, especially if you know in the back of your mind you need coins to regain life, but you apparently don't even need coins to regain life. You just cannot die. This is a game where you cannot die. Now, does this really matter? I don't know. Uh, that's something that I want to discuss with you guys and hopefully have you guys uh, provide some good feedback back because I've always felt that dying in a game like Super Mario Odyssey does provide some benefit in that uh, you feel... A little bit of uh, tense when you're taking risks on a particularly tricky piece of the game. Whether it's a part of the game that you fall off the map or fall on an endless pit. Or if you fall so far you're going to die. Or you're going to try this crazy thing with the enemy not knowing if it's going to work. But without actual death, without a real game over screen that, I don't know, maybe, maybe kicks you out of the world. And you have to restart the whole world over again or whatever the case may be. It kind of, to me, takes away a little bit, just a little bit, from that that thrill you get of doing something with a risk. They're taking away a lot of the risk. I mean, obviously, there's still a risk. You're going to lose a little bit of progress, but there's not much of a risk here dying in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, and because of that, I'm worried that while I play the game, I'm going to feel... A little bit like some of the risk in taking on some of these challenges is gone. Now maybe I'm just over exaggerating these feelings and when I play the game I'm not even going to care. I mean if I think about Mario games it's been a long time since I've seen a game over screen anyways where I've ran out of lives or what have you. So it's not even something that I commonly see, but at least in the back of my mind, in my subconscious, I know if I keep trying out this crazy move I'm doing on this one stage, you know, 10 miles up in the air, uh, I'm eventually going to hit a game over screen and lose some progress. And it's something that, one, tr makes me try to master what I'm doing faster, and two, makes me, you know, sometimes be a bit more risk adverse. And some people might not care, because this just opens up the freedom of the game. You don't have to die. Everything's about the gameplay, the gameplay, the gameplay. And that's fine. I, I don't have anything wrong with that. This isn't the first Nintendo game that hasn't had a game over screen, hasn't had you actually die. I mean, obviously, Kirby's Epic Yarn is, is another example of a game where you literally just cannot die. Uh, they can hit you as much as they want. You're not going to die in that game. But it's just a very interesting thing to me. And whether you run out of life or you jump off a cliff into an endless pit, it appears at least from the demo, and we assume that this translates over to the final game, that there just isn't any way to get a game over in Super Mario Odyssey. So you guys let me know what you think about this. I just wanted to bring this up quickly. I know this is kind of a short video, but I, this, I just find this whole thing fascinating because I can't seem to recall a Mario game, like a mainline Mario game, where you cannot find a game over screen, where you cannot get to a point where you lose some progress. Uh, you guys let me know. I'm probably wrong on that. You guys will probably come up. Maybe you'll end up having a bunch of examples, and this is more common in the Mario series than I think. But, yeah, I, I just feel like this is just a little interesting piece of... Uh, 
if nothing else, an interesting piece of trivia that people can use in the future because I don't know how common it would be for us to actually force this to happen anyways or have it happen commonly through normal gameplay. Anyways, folks, I'm Nintendo Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime, and hey, we're talking about Super Mario Odyssey, which means it's a good reminder to bring up the fact that we're giving away a copy of Super Mario Odyssey down in the comments below, so why don't you go check that out enter it's free if you don't win oh well if you do win sweet you got a 60 dollar triple a nintendo game for free anyways folks i will just catch you in the next one